All right. You don't get to hit anybody anymore. Especially not the dwarf whose height you have twice of. I- what? I said that in a really weird way. You know, fights in this game are really boring to watch. There we fucking go. Kalik warily looks around the area. The tower! It's destroyed! And I... I'm afraid... Pointing at something? What are you pointing at? Oh god! Kalik points at the ruins. A frightening gargoyle is sitting among them. Is it even a gargoyle? The jewels the monster has gathered in its nest, glimmering here and there. What? But the brightest treasure of all is a small disc lying at its feet. It glistens white like incandescent metal, but a moment later it is covered by abysmal black blackness. Then it flashes white again. The disc of the eclipse! That must be it! But how do we... The girl freezes mid-sentence, her eyes wide open, and then... You look in the eyes of a tiefling girl as she emerges from the portal and she raises her brow expressively. Thork and Iron Rue, it's such a wonderful day, and what a view! It's nice to see you again, Kaneda. You detect a glimmer of fear in the girl's eyes, but she quickly shakes it off and snaps her tail angrily. Let me guess, my sweet sister couldn't hold her tongue! She broke the gods' orders and revealed our secret. To tell you the truth, I was sure all this would come out sooner or later. But it's nice to know I wasn't the fool who let it slip! Kaneda keeps silent for a few moments, contemplating her new situation, but then she smiles coyly. Tell me, Thorkin Ironbrew, the last time we met, you were sitting on a throne in a great hall, surrounded by gods and advisors. And now we're sitting all alone at the top of a cliff in some backwater surrounded by slimy flesh-eating toads and other revolting monsters. I don't even know which que question to ask first. Why or how? I guess I'm a baron of many talents. Kaneda rolled, rolls her eyes ostentatiously. I thought the palace balls and parades were the proper entertainment for nobility. But rock climbing isn't too bad either. Your sister... Asked me to find an artifact. An artifact? It doesn't happen to be the disc of the eclipse, does it? Of course, it was I who first told you about it. But I imagined us sitting cozy by the fire in your castle while your servants went off to collect it. But oh well, an adventure it is then. But it seems our treasure has been stolen... ...by that ugly gargoyle? What the fuck? So what are we supposed to do now? I'm not ready to attack the gargoyle yet, because I have yet to give you your skills. Honk. There we go. Let's fight it. We'll easily defeat it. Kaneda squints, then nods. Lead the way. I think I can help by adding some fire to the situation. Alright. Perfect. Okay. It can no longer hit me. This is interesting. Well then. It seems I might not actually have needed those two potions after all. Cool. The Disk of the Eclipse. Let's see what we have here. Canera's tail dances just above the ground, giving away the tiefling's excitement. She's obviously anxious to grab the disc of the eclipse, but waits for you to nod. Fine, take the disc. The girl quickly grabs the artifact with both hands, and in that very instant you hear a loud sound, like a clap, and Canera is enveloped in a cocoon of white light which quickly turns to darkness. You hear voices whispering and interrupting each other. They seem 
to be speaking in images, not natural words. Black, white, bound, split, indivisible. The strange phenomena ends as quickly as it began. The darkness disappears and Kaneda is standing just where she was, seemingly intact, but the disc in her hands is gone. Are you alright? What? Kanera seems to barely hear you. She shakes her head a few times as if she's, uh, she's emerging from a dream. Amazing, I didn't expect this. Listen, the artifact didn't disappear. I can feel it, like it's a part of me now. And I think I... I think I know how to use it! Kalik looks at you in complete astonishment. Vulcan Iron Brew? What? What just happened? I was sleeping in the demiplane, but this time I wasn't pulled out of it like usual. It's like I heard a voice. Kanera's voice. You two are going to drive me insane, I swear. Kalik extends her hand in a pleading gesture. I think I'm going to lose my mind and just when I thought my life couldn't get any crazier. So what happened? Kanera and I recovered the disc of the eclipse and it affected her in a strange way. So what I felt and heard was the influence of the disc? But it's so strange. Kalik closes her eyes and stands still. Her dark hair moves in the wind, but nothing happens for about a minute. Then, without opening her eyes, she begins to move her hand. Yes. Now I understand. Hello again. Ah, are we still here in Sorrowflow? So my sweet sister learned how to use our new ability so quickly. I was sure it would take her a year. I'm going to try to switch us again. Please tell her for me that she's a foolish goat. What? Kalik looks even more stunned. I'm back again, and I heard my sister calling me. I felt it inside, just like my bond to the elemental forces. Now we can switch places whenever we wish. <laughs> Your sister asked me to tell her to tell you that she misses you. I doubt that's exactly what she said, but thanks for trying to cheer me up. So now you can switch whenever you want to. Yes! Oh, there are so many thoughts in my head. It's a miracle that we found such a rare artifact that could help us. Or perhaps Nethys planned this all along. And what should we do with this new gift? Now my sister and I must decide how to divide the time we share. Kalik shakes her head. Yes, I'll think about all this and many other things. But for now, I wish to thank you, Thork and Ironru. If a foreign outcast's gratitude means anything to you, you have it. And one more thing, I'd like to remain in your lands and help you with your quests and travels. Now that we can better control our switches, we won't have to keep running from one place to another. I think Kanera will support my idea. What do you say? Of fucking course I'm going to take the one tiefling person in the, in the game. May this be the beginning of a wonderful journey. No stopping now. Please, do tell. Interesting. Taldor and Kadira were rivals for ages. It's so strange to wander around these ruins. Why am I clicking over there? I'm charted.